Well, sometimes lost in the shuffle of all that is Colby Covington, we don't talk enough about just how elite a welterweight this is. Realized the UFC interim welterweight title back in the day, and he's a guy who many people believe on any given Saturday night, he can be the top 170 pound fighter in the world. Absolutely, and it's the work ethic. It's the work ethic of Colby Covington that stands out. When I was at Oklahoma State as a coach, we wanted to recruit Colby Covington out of junior college because he was such a phenomenal workhorse. Everybody recognized it from day one. And when you watch it in his approach to his fight, he fights in that very same way. He's in your face, he's grabbing you, he's punching you, he's taking you down, and he'll even stand and strike and throw big shots with you as the fight progresses. Don't mistake the talk for a guy that cannot back you up with actions. Kobe Covington is a savage. Fear is not a factor for Kobe Chaos Covington. So the path to UFC welterweight gold, of course, goes through the UK, courtesy of Leon Edwards' win over Kamal Usman, but he's got to keep the focus where it belongs. He's got another hungry young challenger in front of him tonight. Yeah, and, and Leon Edwards is one of those guys that can lock in. He's one of those guys that doesn't seem to me now from the outside to be a guy that falls in love with everything that comes with being the champion. He lives in the now and he will have to do exactly that if he wants to retain his championship tonight. He's got to he's got to be able to use his boxing. Leon Edwards is fast. Oh yeah. Everything he does right. He's crisp, he's sharp, and he uses all of his tools. He is really the definition of mixed martial artists. And that will have to be on display tonight if he wants to keep his championship. You're right, and he may not wow you with muscle mass, but this is quite a frame for the UFC's welterweight division, and Leon Edwards has all eyeballs on him here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kobe Chaos coming time. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, Leon Rocky Edwards. One of the best in the business, Herb fight. Dean, is our referee right. tonight. All right, folks, we are looking live at two of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the game today, Colby Covington chasing that immortality, undisputed greatness against the incumbent, Leon Rocky Edwards. Colby Covington has long lived at the top of his division. Leon Edwards now lives at the very top of the division. He is the champion, and he carries that championship swagger. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this is the about... This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Right inside his opponent's guard here. Edwards is trying to get a triangle here. Ooh, he's got it locked in. Oh, he got out again! He did it again. This guy's a magician. He just keeps on escaping. Sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grafter. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Oh, huge hook. Another takedown for Colby Covington, disguised it well, didn't telegraph the entry, and now we'll see what he can do with it. Very difficult guy to control once he gets top position, DC. 
Edwards gets back up again. Always busy here in the clinch, lands a nice punch there. He's got some hands, man. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. Nice. Another leg kick. Nice defense. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Edwards gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Fantastic kick now. Changing the position. Fighters back to their feet here. It's right there, the underhook. Just over two minutes to go. Solid punch by him there. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, beautiful strike in there by Leon Edwards. He has really become a well-rounded welterweight. You saw in the Gunnar Nelson fight how good his wrestling defense was. Leon Edwards is a real problem. He's... It's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. It's tight. It's tight. Oh, he's out. Edwards gets back up again. And now a secured back position. Oh, man, he's got his back against the side of the octagon. He needs to isolate a hip to try to peel those hands and break that lock. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue tonight. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about the problem. Just misses with the left hook. Fighters back to their feet now. Throwing that jab, no good. He's locked that one. What a fun fight between two guys that only focus on offense. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Seconds now remain in the rack. Great job finding his shots from the top position. <laughs> Round one winding down here. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, we're in the clinch, but still able to land hard to the head with the punch there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Covington's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down, and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down. Ready to fight? That's what that is? That's right. Ready. <laughs> All right, round two. Nice kick landed there by Kevin. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, see let this fight do the talking tonight. Let this fight do the talking, and he's all business. He, he's a businessman. He's here to win. Go back to England and do his thing. Try and for a submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Both fighters get up now. Oh, straight punch. Well, we told you about that hook. There it is. 
champ. Look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Takedown attempt. All right, so there it is again. Rinse, repeat, another takedown, just like we mentioned off the jump. This wrestler has been up in his opponent's face all night. Well, according to the game plan, it would be take this guy down and ground him out. It's exactly what he is doing. Every time he level changes, he gets to the hips, gets to his angle, and he secures these takedowns. He could not be happy. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. The takedown is not there. Covington's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, beautiful job by Covington to get inside and ultimately to get the takedown. I mean, even when he's striking, he's always thinking about the takedown. I know I've referred to the Lawler of fight on a number of occasions. Nice guillotine tip here. That guillotine is very tight. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, good defense, yes. Armbar. Ooh, arms in tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Kobe Chaos Covington. All right, so the power game on full display for Colby Covington as he gets it done by knockout tonight. It's surprising because Colby's a guy that overwhelms you, but tonight, that 